Hi there, this is Ms. Nofikowski from My Home to Yours, and today's project is a Japanese spinning star. And for this project, you need four pieces of square paper, so just uh, regular paper, colored paper, usually two colors and then two different colors because you weave them together like this and that creates an interesting pattern if you have two different colors. So to make the Japanese spinning star, there it is spinning away, um, you need four pieces of paper and using two different colors gives you a nice design here when you, it's woven together. So you start off by folding each of your papers using the rectangular fold here, and then you fold it again from each end into the line of symmetry in the middle. And then again, make sure you're creasing these down. And the more times you fold a piece of paper, the harder it gets to crease. So this is when bringing a ruler or something else in to help you with those creases is a good idea. And then you fold them together like this as well. And then position it up and down and start with this one here and just fold it into making a triangle meeting up in the center line of symmetry here. And then on the left hand, or the right hand side, you open this up, not all the way, but just one fold up, and you start with a corner, and you fold that into the line of symmetry. So now you have the smaller triangle here, and the larger triangle here. And you do that for four pieces. This is the most difficult fold in this project, and you might be able to see there's a very faint fold line right here, because of the folding here, that little triangle there is really important. So I'm gonna use my left hand here and just hold that little triangle in place. And then I'm gonna open this up and put my other finger into that, in the inside here. And I'm gonna just coax this. So I'm gonna fold this back. And by pushing on this side and pushing on this side, I'm forming a little triangle you can see standing up here, a little triangle that's then going to fold down to that flap. And then I'm gonna fold these together. And again, this is getting really thick here. And so you might wanna smooth this over using a ruler to get those creases really nicely folded. And then I kind of smooth this a little bit to get a bit of a curve here because I need to fold this and it's getting quite thick. So I'll use my fingers to kind of get a bit of a curve in the middle there to help me fold it. And then I'm gonna take this corner and fold it up to this corner here. So meet them at the top and hold it down and then use my other fingers to push down that crease. And again, I'm gonna go in with this and smooth that over. Okay, the next step after we have folded this up is to flip it over and you'll see that you've got these this extra paper here and if you fold it over these edges you'll form an, another set of triangles. So I'm going to fold that, I'm going to crease it with my ruler and then I'm going to unfold it and then open this up and you'll notice one of these sides there's not a pocket but on this side there is and I'm gonna tuck those triangles into that pocket. And this is, these are really short, so they may pop out, and that's okay, you can just keep tucking them back in, but it will help if you go over them and crease them as well. So after you've done this, you do this three more times so that you have three arms of the spinning star made. And I've got mine already ready here, so I've got my two different colors, and then one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna start with just two of the arms. I'll move the other two to the side. And I put them with their points in the same orientation. And I'm gonna take this one on the right and I'm going to rotate it 
a quarter turn or 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna just open it up here and see again, if that pops out, that's okay. You can fix that later. I'm gonna just tuck that in there and I'm gonna go back and tuck this into the pocket here. Okay. So that's the first step. And you want these points, this spinner will have rotational symmetry. So you want the points all pointing in the same direction as they spin. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit and then I'm gonna bring my next arm over. So again, lining it up with the original one, this one takes a quarter turn and then another quarter turn. So this one's turning 180 degrees or a half turn. And instead of going through this one, we're gonna go through this one. I push it through and you can start to see this star coming together. And then I bring my fourth one over and again, Think about how many turns I'm gonna to need to make for this one. One, two, three. And then if you're not sure what you need to do, you sort of look at this one. This one is over the yellow, so this one's gonna go through the lighter yellow one. So I open this up and I put this through. And this is the trickiest part here because now I've got this one through, but I have to put the lighter yellow one through this one push that through. And now it takes a little while to get this together, but you just kind of push push them into the center together. Push that down, pull this up, pull this over so you're getting it nice and tight so you have that nice two by two square in the middle. Oh, see that came undone, so I'm just gonna tuck that back in. Okay, and so now I have a Japanese spinning star. There we go.